Welcome to an undisclosed location in Texas, Miles. It's a pleasure to have you here. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you, you very too. Much. Yeah, well, we met before. I've uh, become uh, friends quickly. Uh, I'm a we, real part of. Me too. We, uh, we share some similar views and come from very different angles, but uh, we're going to have a great time today, and I just want to uh, uh, announce to those that are listening to us today, there's going to be a third voice. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a voice uh, that will translate, uh, clarify, uh, anything you say in English or anything that uh, will be sent back in Chinese. So that third voice will come in and out of our conversation. And I think that will provide clarity for our whole audience. So we'll, we'll, we'll stay there. And so your story is one that is hard for anyone to believe. Your story is amazing. Uh, your rise in China, your exit from China, and now the position that you're in in the United States um, is one that... Uh, people find hard to believe. I don't find it that hard to believe. Um, I believe uh, almost everything that you say. And I think telling your story to the people of the world and the people of America and China and, and everywhere else is uh, very important for the world to understand what China's grand strategy is. Who's, who is Miles Kwok? Uh, why, are, why are you in the United States? All of these questions are are going to be great questions for you to answer. And then I've got some other very specific questions about uh, data and uh, the Chinese Communist Party and, more importantly, um, the two currency worlds that you and I seem to uh, believe exist uh, and, and um, be so important to China's success or failure going forward. So please share with me, why are you in the United States? What, what happened when you were in China and why did you leave uh, China? Thank you, sir. Yes. Uh, I'm a English no good. Sometimes I need help. But uh, early I want to use the, my Chinglish. Okay. If you answer. Okay. If you don't understand, I want to translate the help. Perfect. I think it's very easy to answer. Uh, I'm in America because i anti-CCP. The I Chinese want, Communist Party. Yeah, come here. I, I want to qualify. I don't anti-Chinese. I don't anti-China. I love Chinese. I love you know, my country yes. is China, yes. but I hate CCP. I want to take them down. Understood. I want to take this regime down. You love the people, you love the culture. I love the, I love the country. Culture. You do not like the government. Yes, the government and the CCP, Communist Party. A lot of people in the US feel that way. Then, yeah, then I want to give America the warning. Yes. You are in dangerous way. You are too naive believe the CCP. Yes. You say that America is too naive to believe what the CCP says. Yes. Yes. This is why I want to provide about the CCP the any truth. Political, culture, army, and economy. Yes. This is why I'm here. This is why is the CCP want to take me back. They pay the billions. They send the people to come to America, want to use any solution, make the deal, send me back. Yes. And try connect me, connect me. You know this story, yes. many stories they, about me. They've tried. So basically what's known is the Chinese Secret Service, the MSS, yes. has come to London, has come to America to try to take you and take you back. Yeah. Also, it, they try to use any solution. You know, kill me. It, they would love to kill you. You, yeah. I think you are potentially China's number one enemy. The I government, so. the government, not the people. Yeah? I'm the number one. Is Stephen Bannon number two? No, maybe you're the number three. <laughs> so, yeah. sir, I'm I'm here. Yes. I, I have no. I have political asylum. Yes. In America. You have political asylum. Yes. Asylum. Yes. yes. I got it. Then, I wanted the world to know about the CCP, the truth, everything. Okay. The world now. It's very dangerous because CCP. You look before, one year ago, I talk YouTube, Twitter, any about the Wiz Blue, about the CCP. Yes. Bing Bing, actor, HNA, Wang Qishan with HNA, and Jack Ma, everything. Nobody trusts me. Okay, so don't tell us yet about Jack Ma. <laughs> At the end of the interview, yeah. you have a very bold prediction. Yeah. And I'd love to hear your view on what's going to happen to Jack Ma, but not yet. Okay. Okay. So you're, you're talking about this, uh, what happened with the HNA chairman 
being, uh, let's say, they would say he, he died or fell off a two-foot wall <laughs> this summer. Others, including yourself, would say that he was assassinated. Yeah. Uh, Fan Bingbing uh, yeah. was put into, into jail for supposedly tax treatment. We'll get, get to all of that, but let's go back to the CCP. What is the grand strategy, in your opinion, what is the grand strategy of the CCP in relation to uh, in how it governs its relationship with the United States. What is the CCP after? I think, you know, one year ago, one year ago, it's the September 4, it's the same yesterday, just one year, I want a speech in the Hudson, but they blocked me because the China government threatened it's the Hudson. Uh -huh. Yesterday, great, great day, it's the, after the one year, one it's year. the West President Pence speech there. There you go. Very so, good. So, you were going to speak at the Hudson Institute? Yeah. And they stopped it? It stopped by China threatened. Yes. You know, the influence. Then, one year ago, I had a press conference in the DC. I called them all the American world. China CCP have the plan called 3F. It's one is weak America. Weak in America. Weak America. Yes. Two, you know, to, to make, um, kill America. This is, this is very seriously. Okay. Three is to make, you know, uh, a terminal America. Ooh, when Ding, what's that? A terminal, terminal. Make China, make the U.S. not stable. No stable. Got it. So Unstable. I give yeah. it a warning, but very bad. I think one year ago, somebody think this guy is a crazy guy, liar Correct. guy. Correct. Reaper guy, don't need the trust. Right. Then this is the year. You, you look before, right? You, you look what back. What did happen? Yeah. What and you happen? see you see everything that happened. Yeah, this is happened. Yeah. This is why the few months about the actually the, the chairman died for the once, the French. Yes. All the people, oh, Mao Guo maybe talk is true. So CCP have a strategy, 3F America. Got it. Three Take it. you down. Yep. This is a strategy. And no for, the, for those that haven't seen you before on video, um, one year ago you predicted that the chairman of HNA would be killed within a year. Yes, sir. And 363 days later, he fell off a wall in Provence. Yes. Right. Uh, maybe it was just coincidental. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, uh, you know, this is HNA. The chairman died. Yes. One year ago, I see the two guys HNA. One is the president. One is the chairman. Must be one die. One guy is dies in the one year because Wang Qishan will to kill him okay. because they want. You know, disappear any qualified information about corruption. They own the HNA. They right. kill people. They pay in the outside officially spy system. Right. So this happened. Then only one me. I see the guy not is the take a selfie die the world. It's the Wang Qishan China CCP government kill him, murder right. him. And this is this is the concept of. The government, uh, the, the government edifice of co the Chinese Communist Party, in theory, they don't earn much money each year, right, in yeah. theory. But in practice, what, you're, what you allege is there was this magical 28% um, shareholder of HNA that the New York Times wrote about uh, that uh, no one knew who owned HNA. Yeah. It was an insurance company that started at zero in the last uh, eight years and rose to prominence. Yes. And there was a shareholder that no one knew who they were. Miles Kwok, you say that that shareholder is Wayne Kashan and his family. Yes. And originally, I think people thought that that was crazy and that you were bombastic. Mm -hmm. And now as things are happening, as you predicted, people yeah. are starting to believe more in you. Yeah. Uh, you and I have had the opportunity to spend many hours together. <laughs> yeah. And um, I believe many of the things that you say because everything is connected. Whether it's Miles Kwok talking about uh, the chairman of HNA or Wayne Kashan or Fan Bingbing or what's going to happen to Jack Ma, which we'll still talk about a yeah. little later. Those things are all related to how the CCP uh, enriches itself. Mm -hmm. So what you're alleging is that there's a lot of corruption at the top. Uh, that's that's correct. Yeah, yeah. that's correct. And so what do you think the Chinese leadership is worth today. Uh, how wealthy do you think they are personally? Oh, this is very easy. You know, China's every year GDP more than $10 trillion. Right, it's about 12 and a half, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 12 and a half. 
the money goes to where now? You check the last uh, 10 years. Where does the money go? Yeah. It goes, well, to the printing press. Yeah, today I with Stephen Bannon, I talk usually about one question. Yes. Why China printed too much currency, China no inflation, inflation to up? Yes. Why? Very easy. To keep the order. Order yes. and American operate the, all the country the cost by GDP. So ninety percent give the people. Yes. Chinese operate the country. Ten percent give the people. You check American all the social housing care how much? More than twenty trillion. Yeah. China how much? Half a trillion. Maybe of lower. All the housing. All the housing. Yeah. yeah. Why? China, everything over is very low cost. Mm. They take the money, mm. put it outside. So you're See? saying you're saying it's it's the same thing as a government kleptocracy in Africa. Yeah, definitely. Right. Rob in the uh, you know in the outside yes. and your country. Yes. But this is very dangerous. Very they, one dangerous. day they use this threat in you, now this is happening in. Right. This is right. why you know you look at America, any, any entrepreneur, any you know investment Chinese China the company, no, they get threatened. In a bigger picture, there's this concept that uh, a nation state like China, and China has said globally that their economic system is superior to that of Western capitalism. Yes. And when you, when you peel back uh, the onion, you see that there is no larger income and wealth dispersion yeah. than there is in China because the elites are the kleptocrats and the people have very little. Yes. And those that actually rise through the ranks of this hybrid system end up going to jail um, or falling off a wall in, yeah. in Provence, yeah. <laughs> right? Because that's a very important distinction to draw uh, when you look at the economy of the CCP versus the economy of Western capitalism, yeah. right? 100% correct. So I'd love, to, I'd love to ask you uh, a couple of questions about that. You know, even Premier Li um, has stated that Chinese economic statistics are unreliable. Mm. What do you think uh, the real economic statistics are as far as GDP growth? And I know you and I have had several conversations about the FX reserves. Mm -hmm. How do you think about the numbers that are reported for GDP growth versus what they really are and the FX reserve number versus what it really is? I know that's a specific question, but we'll move, move on from there. Yeah. Thank you, sir. It's a good question. You know, we need to look for China economy. We need to look for point. Four points, yeah. One is the M2. M2, how much? Yes, basically cash in circulation, right? Yeah. For those that, are, that aren't economists. Yes, $20, 20, $29 trillion China printer RMB, we call CCPB currency. Yes. Secondly, you need to look for about China. It's the int personal interest growth. Right? Yes. No, no 29 trillion. This is no growth too much. Three, you need to look for bank, the bad bank. The bad bank. Bad bank. Yes. 45%. 45% of the loans are More, bad. More, I think. Yeah. Four, four is very important, you see. Uh, foreign exchange. Yes. Currency. Currency uh, exchange. Exchange. Yes. Up, down, down. You look at Hong Kong, the dollars. With dollars. Yes. RMB with dollars. Nobody, no Chinese, no also American uh, company in China can move, you know, pure clean money go to outside. Correct. Correct. Even you earn this money, cannot move outside. Why? So this is the full point. I give you answer. Nobody can give China economy go to stable, reliable, impossible. They know to jump in. They cheated the world. They make a fake economy. They have this a is the printer, the currency, then you know, control the currency, move to outside. Yes. So you've moved, you've taken us to the place that brought you and I together. Yes, this right? is correct. Yeah. You came to this conclusion um, long ago, and you're right. Uh, I think you're right, of course, because you, agree, you, you agree with me. So they therefore, you're the right. money. <laughs> yeah. So this, this concept of two currency worlds is one that is lost on many people. Yeah, all of them. Uh, the, the RMB economy of China uh, mm -hmm. is internal. Yeah. And the economy of China yeah, in, in, in dollars saying. is external. Yeah. And they're desperately in need of dollars because that's how they trade with the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. what, what was so compelling when I met you 
the most compelling thing that you showed me was the chart of Chinese M2, the moving graphic. Yes. And uh, we'll provide that moving graphic to the Real Vision audience uh, mm. uh, separately in this video. Uh, but more importantly, Chinese M2 has grown from $1 trillion worth of RMB yeah. to, as you say, $30 trillion on an economy of 12. Yes. They've printed more money internally yeah. than any one country in the history of the world as a percentage of GDP yeah. um, and as a percent, as, as, as call it M2 growth versus GDP growth, nothing has ever come that close. Yeah. So they've created a false economy of yeah. RMB and the exchange rate in dollars. So you, you took us to another place. You took us to Hong Kong for a minute, yeah, yeah. right? Why does Xi's little colony of Hong Kong mm. still peg to the dollar if China's economic model is so great? Yeah. Why, why is that? Very easy the answer. Sir, you know, Kel, Hong Kong dollars, we, you know, is the dollars, uh, Hong Kong dollar is American dollars, the, the US dollars is the region. It's a peg. The peg. Yes. You know, bank reef, China reef, you know, reserve, reserve China. Yes, the PBOC. Uh, PBOC yes. and the Hong Kong bank reef. Yes. Receive. Norman Chan, a Norman HKMA. Chan. Yes. This is fake. This is true. You how can handle this? Right. Bank of China, Hong Kong handles You better the same. Yeah. See, same. This is the mafia group. Same. Right. Bank of China is laundry money in the station. Yes. I your, 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 your allegation is that the Bank of China, Hong Kong launders money for all of the, for all of the Chinese leaders. Yeah, always. You look, go to New York, you see Bank of China, the building. The Bank of China. the building. building. Yeah. All the windows are blocked. Always 365 <laughs> really? days. I you didn't know to that. See. You could see. Okay. So I, I talk a lot of American friends. You say you could see Bank of China never open the windows. Hmm. But the small the building, why is the more than 2,000 employees work here? How can put 2,000 employees there? Why? This is spy system, laundry system. It's a mafia group who work there. They're not really bank. So the Bank of China, the Bank of China in, in New York, all the world. As 2,000 employees, and they are doing, you're saying they're doing everything from being spies to being mafia to being uh, um, uh, money laundering. Yeah, so this is for sure. So, sir, this is, this is why I give you the answer very easy. Hong Kong, the dollars, no, they, because the China, all the propaganda, you know, clean all the Hong Kong people, the head, you want you trust, we can help you, you can push you know, stronger Hong Kong dollars. But this dude is the control the uh, foreign, you know, currency go yes. outside. Yes. But now it's a big trouble. Big trouble. Because President Trump, you know, give the world, you know, training the uh, say no US, the training world, put the economy down. Mm. Well, the economy was already slowing. It was very slow. Before, before we went into Trying to, input a, trying to put together a border adjustable tax or a tariff yeah. um, has just made it a little worse. The timing of the Trump administration's yeah. tariffs is not good for China. Yes. I don't know if it was intentional or not. Very bad. Right, but it's very bad. But when you go back to Hong Kong, Norman Chan and the HKMA, yeah. they've spent 78% yeah. of their reserves, yeah. excess reserves, fighting the peg. Yeah. This peg's been in place for more than 30 years. Yeah. And now... Hong Kong imports U.S. monetary policy, so they're having to raise rates while China's economy slows down. Mm. This could be a very big problem for Hong Kong, yeah? I think this is not a big problem. I think I want to go back and see this. China is, a, you know, because of American with China the training the war. Yes. China not economy no good. It's a go-to jump. Okay. So you're saying that the trade war is going to cause Chinese economy to drop, yeah. so the way which was Hong already dropping before the trade war. Dropping, so the why Hong Kong the bank now is very weak. They have two choices: make a fake economy, same China mainland. Yes. Second is to open the close. We are die. We no more the dollars foreign. You uh, mean you basically liberalize the RMB? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let it let it free. Yeah. So this is why Hong Kong dollars it look last the month. Down, down, China mainland, CCP is try hop back, yeah. hop back, but nobody can rescue the Hong Kong dollars cut job. One day, CCP find out the solution, 
No Hong Kong dollars. No Hong Kong. You, your assertion is that at some point in time, China will just take over Hong Kong. This, this is the, the goat. Yes. This is the goat. They want to try disappear Hong Kong dollar, then RMB challenger American dollars. Right. This is fundamental the reason. Don't talk to me about the sea. So South China Sea War, don't talk to me that, you know, all you, the business, you know, say no U.S., the, the, tree, the trail, no important. They want goat. Challenger American dollar disappear Hong Kong dollars. Okay. They want They want to challenge the supremacy of the U.S. dollar. Yeah, this is why they yeah. first the one disappear Hong Kong dollars, then challenger American dollars. So at the last party congress, mm -hmm. um, basically there were far few chairmen of companies added to the standing committee and the committee of the Politburo, mm -hmm. right? Less corporate interest, whether they were heads of SOEs or heads of private quasi-private companies, mm. much less business people mm. on the standing committee and the, and the, and the Politburo. Mm. Is Xi trying to send a signal? Is he trying to change the, the structure of the standing committee and the, and the Politburo himself and take, take out business interests and make it more uh, the thought of Xi? How, how do you think about what happened there at the party congress? So, okay, I want you to qualify. I need to translate. Okay. I pay him too much to translate sure, the fee. Sure, <laughs> Sorry. sure. Uh,做这个,呃,私人生意的这个,呃,业务,这个人员的代表,越来越少。那您觉得这个,现在这个,党的他的这个,共产党他们的这个想法是不是想越来越把这个,呃,私人企业,民营企业,呃,越来越减低
we help the poor country. No, it's a laundry the money. Yep. So during the failures in the past of, of Hainan Development Bank, Guangdong International Trust, and uh, Investment Corporation, GIDIC, and the P2P platforms that are failing today, right? There, we've had 200 P2P platforms fail in the last uh, couple of months. Yeah. Do you think the government will make investors whole, or do you think the government will allow losses to happen in China? No. They, they every year change the solution, but the same with the gold. Take the money from poor people back. They cheat you. You look at China has the Fanya group, Fanya group, many years ago. This is a hundred billion. Is the money is the investment. Is the guy is wrong. The okay. guy is the work with the Meng Jianzhu before political of the bureau. You know, low uh, low of the political secretary Meng Jianzhu. Okay. They family owned. They find a solution. Finance called Fanya Group. Okay. Hundred billion RMB. They wrong. Then again, P2P. Then again, just okay. come party, high level, the corruption people, they cheat you the solution, never give you payback. I see. So, so investors in China are the ones that uh, lose their money? This is for and sure. And the leadership gives a solution where they take what's left? Yes. And the institutions fail? Yes, this is sure. Yes, definitely. Okay. So this is why you can see the P2P. So if that happens, though... If that happens, how, do, how does the leadership control the population from uh, revolting? How does a revolution not happen? You know, this in is a why, big, in, let's say a lot of banks fail. Yeah, this is why if you see the last five years, what has happened? Cyber control. In the world, more the, you know, better to North Korea. China cyber control the five years. Cyber control. Cyber control. Why? Yes. What do you fear? Why do you want the people afraid? They talk? fear a revolution. If a revolution, yes. just the reason. I'm few months ago talking the with blue, the scandal, sexy, steal the money. Just this. It's why we're in an airplane hangar, right? We can't yeah. be out in the public because <laughs> God, God knows what would happen to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is why, you know, Kale, Sir Kale, yes. this is why China, you know, how can control the revolution, cyber control first. Second, you look, the GDP, the how much you pay call uh, inside the security control, mm. how much? You see this, hundred billion dollars. This is from GDP. Is control all the poor people, normal people, P two P. The people they don't rest the any leader family. They, they all the rest of the good people mm. send the good people to yes, jail. Yes. This is why CCP is the world is the mafia group. And the way that they've been able, so what's fascinating about this big financial experiment that uh, the, the co Communist Party is engaged in, they control the narrative, right? They control the press, mm -hmm. they control the people, mm -hmm. they control the price level, mm -hmm. right, of various things in China. They mm -hmm. control food prices, they control energy prices, and, and in the end, they also, that's how they control the economy and control the people from revolting. And what you're saying is, if the economic gravity hits China, which it looks like it's hitting now, uh, given the fact that they're now running a current account deficit and things are slowing down very quickly, that you think that they won't be able to control all of these things. Yeah. Is that so, correct? Yes, correct. So, you know, the counterpart not only control this, they control everything, mm. including sex. Including what? Sex. 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 Okay, right. China philosophy is the last four years. Through them. Three. Three things. One, everything, the country, everything belongs to party. They party belong are, to don't the party. Don't belong to country. Everything belongs to party. Okay. Everything by listen to party. This is everything listen is the party give you. So you, you need to project. Three, even your father, your mother, no, nothing good to Biden to party everywhere in China. I see. So they, they can do what? Your father and mother, you cannot love your father and mother loyalty. Why? You need to love the party. You love your party more than your <laughs> Yeah. Then it says, who give you everything? Party. Mm. What is you 100% listen? Party. Mm. This is ridiculous. Mm. Why American, all the media, why is the world, a civilized world, no one media talk to Sri Sirugan? In the China, everywhere, you ask the other people, do you can trust the one party better than your father, your mother? Right. Well, no. <laughs> no. Why is everything you, you party give you impossible? This is a 
perfect segue yeah. into why do the economists in the West, yeah. why do the economists in the West believe everything the Chinese Communist Party tells them? Why, do, why is this notion of globalism so, so prevalent amongst the, the, the economists in the U.S. and in the, in the Western world? Why do they believe the Chinese Communist Party? Why can't we see what's really happening? Now, I feel like if you read in the press in the last six months, mm. it looks like people are figuring out what the grand strategy of the CCP is. Mm. It's changed a lot in the last year. Yeah. But why do the economists believe what the, what the government says? Why do Western economists Yeah, believe? yeah. Very easy. You are too kind. We're too kind. They, they see you too naive. This is too bad. In long time, America has 50 years, too good life. You mm. never think you have the bad regime is there. You, you too kind. Second reason, you all the American, you know, finance, I don't include you, I hope. Yeah. Finance person, too greedy. True. They are have the BGY program. BGY. BGY. I all talk to America yeah, one year we, ago. We discussed this. So tell, tell us what BGY is. B is called blue color. It's, you know, it's the use of website, hacker, hacker. information, yep. use information, uh, you know, steal the technology. Steal technology. Like yeah. yeah. Technology it's, transfer and theft. It, IP is, theft is B. This American lose big, big, big yeah. amount of the money. We estimate it's two to three hundred billion a year if you read. Uh, yeah. Those are, if you read the report from the Defense Department or the White House, it's 200, 300 billion a year. Yes. I so that's B. Yeah, this is B. G is a Chinese gold. Gold is a benefit. Money. Market power. They say because China, the market is a bigger force. Bigger power can influence you, can buy you, treat you, do everything for them. They can coerce you with money. Yeah, this is why you look at all the rest of the world. Don't you call your hedge fund, you, they give it the 100 million to one, billion, 10 billion, 100 billion, must be by you. So this is a G, it's a benefit, the money by you. Got it. Why? Sex. 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 Yes. Oh, this is sex. So they t- talk to me as a reaper guy. Yeah, uh, you sound like <laughs> Borat. He says, <laughs> yes. he says sexy. They always use the why? I make you reaper, you big trouble. I see. So you go to China, I hope you not. You don't have the video, you go to China. I'm not going to China. Any hotel, any, some aircraft, airport, they have the video. They take any tips. One day, threaten you, don't compromise. They blackmail you. Every inside, outside, investment. This is called BGY, must be win the world. They never defeat. They never, this is why you look, all the American top, top, you know, Stephen Wynn. Is a lot being go to President Trump. Sign the mouth, go go back. Why? Yeah. They give you the license, the gamble license. They give you the bill in the cash. Yes. So, so let's a, let's go there for a second. This is a so BGY. You say, and and I've become aware through the administration that there have been several letters, handwritten, yeah, uh, by either Wang Kishan or she or someone very yeah. high up in the CCP, yeah, where they've taken an American citizen, yeah. yeah whether it be, you've said, Steve Wynn, <laughs> or Sheldon Adelson, or Lloyd Blankfein, or Steve Schwartzman, yeah. any of these people that are, that are Western capitalists looking to do business in China, yeah. and they have delivered these letters to the U.S. administration. Is, yeah. is that true? 100% true. More. And these letters are looking for your extradition. Yes. This, I want to ask you, why the, the letters don't from New York at the restaurant some waiter? Why is no... Well, would you clear, uh, William, will you clarify that for us? Why this letter did not come from any New York employee or American citizen or American citizen? Why did those uh, letters uh, not come from the normal citizens in the U.S., uh, not right. from the farmers in the U.S., but from those business guys? Easy. Money. They no benefit in China. Money. They no benefit from China. Right. CCP owner hurt you. Meeting level people, they take your money, steal your technology, own your everything back. They use the huge money, buy is a finance guy, Stephen Wynn, Stephen Truman, any famous guy. This is BGY. This is a fundamental reason. They work with money. Shouldn't those people, if they're carrying letters from one government to another, shouldn't they have to register as a foreign agent? Are they breaking, I think, would they be breaking U.S. law? Definitely, for sure. You're broken. This is why I want to ask you, 
I want all American friends. Why no American prosecutor, no FBI to investigate this? Hmm. There is a broken the law. Maybe, maybe, the, maybe the FBI should look into this. Yeah, I don't think so. I hope. I hope because now it's the CCP in America everywhere. Well, the, they try to disappear everything. Just I'm worried, sir. Yeah. Um, okay. So we cover so many things. China is <laughs> a big place, and their strategy is very difficult to elucidate in uh, one hour, right? Yeah. Uh, but it. Is there is there political op- what what I've noticed lately in the last few months is I've actually noticed some media outlets saying that Xi's political power, given his the position he's taken in the tariff battle and the fact that the economy is headed down, is his political power waning? Is it um, is it in question at all? Is there anyone challenging Xi in China? Yeah, about the Xi, I need to be careful. I need a translator, please. <laughs> like 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 who is a Hu Xinhua or someone like that? Is anyone is anyone challenging Xi? Yeah. Yeah. 法就是说这个呃发生那么多事情，那个呃习主席的那个呃政治的这个权力是不是在下降？然后呢，这个现在到底有没有人去挑战他的这个这政治地位 ？You know about the Xi? You know I have the four seven principle. I want to talk more, but I can give you answer. Don't talk Xi. Don't talk Hu Zhong. Don't talk Wang Yang. CCP, no more future. No more two years of future. I believe this. In two years, no more future. No, no CCP. Because of the economy headed lower. I, hundred percent. Okay. Economy inside the revolution. Okay. So you think that you take it back money, please? Yeah, I'll tell you a story. Quickly, sto- I'll tell you a story. <laughs> um, the, the President Bush, forty-three. Uh, um, his last state dinner with Hu Jintao. Yeah. Um, he actually got to speak with him alone. Yeah. And President Bush alone. alone. Only one to one. Yes. No translate. Very rare. Yes, yeah, still me the Chinglish. Okay, Chinglish. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, President Bush asked Hu Jintao. He said, uh, "What worries you the most?" Uh, and uh, President Bush says, "I'll start." He says, "What worries me the most is a potential for another、uh, terrorist attack、yeah. on the United States soil." Yeah, I know that. And you know what Hu Jintao said?、Yeah. He said, "Jobs. I need to create at least 20 million jobs per year, or there'll be a revolution and I'll be out of power."、Sorry. So, so what you're saying is, if the economy turns lower, that there might be a revolution and the CCP、uh, becomes restructured. Could you directly talk to you, sir? He told President Bush. Yeah, yeah, this、President、is the story. President Bush told me directly. No, yeah. yeah, I know the story. Many people talk about this, but this is totally you misunderstand what this is the truth. Okay. Hu Jintao is a China CCP leader. I, I know him very well. You know this、uh, yes. very well. Yes. Yes. I know personally very well. Good、okay. person, good man, but not good politician. Okay. China CCP have the system. Talk you how can talk a lie, make it you know criminal. And a liar. They, te- and they, they, they teach you how to lie and cheat. Everything. Okay. Everything. I talk to Steve Bannon today. You look for about China. Everything. They say yes. You say no. They say no. You say yes. This is a hundred percent correct. Okay. Hu Jintao know. Bush go back talk all the leaders. They know this is good propaganda. Talk a lie time. I see. They say you're saying、oh, that was intentional. It was intentional. Yeah. Hu Jintao also my friend. Hu Jintao only worried one who kill him. Right. Only a CCP leader, only one worry: who want kill me? I, how can save? Then I how can take more money? How can take more girls? No more worry. Don't trust them. CCP, no one person is good. Okay, I'm going to go to the fun stuff now. <laughs>、yeah. So tell me、uh, why? Why do you think Fan Bingbing was、uh, was a, was disappeared and just recently reappeared? Why do you think she was taken、uh, by the by the CCP? One years ago, I I told them about the C. One years ago, Fan Bingbing must be having trouble by Wang Qishan. And be- why? Why? Because Wang Qishan have the sexy with Fan Bingbing. I see the video. She sued me in the New York. I、you、saw see, that. Take it back. You you said that you basically said that she is Wang Qishan's girlfriend.、Uh, yeah, definitely. See many、definitely. people girlfriend. And then she took offense to that and sued you in New York. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I see the video. I、so、see the type. Why did she go to jail? Because, you know, Wang Qishan wants to say, shut up, don't send mouth to go to outside. One day, with blue with me, then they take the back money. 
and want you don't talk this, don't talk this. Go to your home. Go to every find your evidence. Take it back. Disappear history. Then threaten her. Don't talk me more. I see. Don't think about don't what talk is about good me way. In public. Then yeah. Finish. How much money had she、uh, laundered? Oh my God! Is this is a huge member? I I talk to the members. Is this ever said this crazy guy, liar guy? I don't want to talk. Murder, murder, billion, the billion. Billions of yeah. dollars. Yeah. I think it's more than a dollar. Definitely, for sure.、Okay. I have、uh, some friend. It's a long money. It's many years ago. It's a suit her, Wang Qishan. Just one week, one point three billion RMB immediately from Bank of China. Through Bank of China. Yeah, another three billion from a China developer bank. Okay. Easy. Then Bing Bing take a twenty percent, you know, commission. Oh, she got to keep. Yeah, to keep. This is. This is the job. See now the actor. That's better than acting. Oh, this is. I really want to do the business. You make two hundred million at a time. That's <laughs> yeah, pretty yeah, good. Yeah, it's easy. Since you hide from the Canada department, <laughs> <laughs> but you wear the handsome. But the same. <laughs> <laughs> well, so so that that seems so outlandish that it's hard to believe that's true, for you to say that、uh, someone just gets to keep twenty、uh, percent of four billion dollars running through two banks in China. Sometimes more. But you're saying that's how it works. Yes, more. Sometimes twenty percent. Example: I'm a, another guy is Hong Kong,、yeah. a realistic、uh, developer in the China. They need the cash. This is funny. We say, okay, one week give you two billion, but I want thirty-five percent. The guy also is a good friend. Call me. I say, how can I do this? I say, don't do this. One day you go to jail. Yeah. Don't do this. Too much. You look, thirty-five percent immediately move. How can I earn the private? Seven hundred and fifty million dollars is the price. Crazy. And these things are going on every single day in the Chinese banks. Yeah, every every single everybody. Do you, do you think that U.S. banking regulators know this? I, I don't think so, hundred percent. Some people know, but they don't want to talk because of the benefit. I've studied China for a long time, and I've studied their banking system for a long time, and these claims are hard for me. To imagine that they're true, they're very difficult for me to believe. <laughs>、um, one would think that a, a rules-based global financial system, especially interconnected in the banks, that that this would be found very quickly. But what you're saying is,、uh, since the CCP runs the banks, they can do whatever they want to do. Yes, this is why I I really admire you, sir. Kyle, you know, I see you some of the you know、uh, give me the paper. Yes, the presentation. Before, your pres- yes, really shocked me. I guarantee. I directly tell you, I, I see many hedge fund managers use the first one, number one, give me the about the China economy. Any information is correct. Thank、I'm、you. No hundred percent. Not a hundred percent. You cannot challenge me. I'm a hundred percent. Sorry, <laughs> but use number one、hmm. is really no China economy is truth.、Yeah. I really shocked. So I translate, give all the my hedge fund, all the my friends. They say, wow, this is. So so good is a presentation you, about、yeah. the China economy, and you you give me the you know the information about the China bank, shock me. Why no more people know this?、Mm. This is true. This is real. Immediately can happen. You can check、mm. Hong Kong dollar, China. You know, is the economy is the jump. Yeah. Thank you, sir. A lot. Yeah. Thank you. Big hope. All right, we're going to conclude this interview with one prediction. Yeah. And、uh, we we talked. When I, when you and I first spent many hours together, we talked about Jack Ma, yeah, and the signing of his shareholder、uh, ownership or his shares.、Uh, the signing happened two days ago, so unfortunately, our, this interview didn't happen three days ago. But you told me you <laughs> made you made two pretty bold predictions about Jack Ma. Why do you think he resigned、uh, or retired? Sorry, retired from、uh, Alibaba, and is Alibaba、uh, run by the CPC? And what do you think is likely to happen to Jack Ma in the next year or so? I think him is only two way. All the China the billionaire, only two way. I always talk one year. Only two things happen. Two things: jail, jail, and die. Dead. So he's either going to jail or he's going to be killed. I think fifty fifty. Or he might just fall off a wall. Yes, but the kill means kill. You 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 only talk Jack Ma Alibaba. Yes. You never focus. Jack Ma is to have a privacy company called Finance Group. Finance Group, yeah. This is and and, and financial. And financial. Yeah, yeah. Is、oh, it? Good tragedy. It's, it's very important to the Chinese financial system. Oh my God! This is the he, he challenges the banks. This is really earn the money. You know, good. You know, is the machine is the carpenter the money. Yes. 
Alibaba's liar, cheater, the sales fake one. It's the cheetah America. This is the old lie. I don't think this all this is true. But this finance is really good. They really can earn the money. And but financial, yeah. can, How much value? Trillion dollars. A trillion dollars. This is the, they take back. Who? You, you look at history, Germany, 1927 to 1942. Hitler coming. Yep. Same way. Take all the entrepreneurs that get back, loyalty country. Then on the other hand, give the, all the, the shared equity, give the family. Same way. So this is the Jack Ma before. Before, it's the whole Jiang family, you know, own the money. I yes. see all the China entrepreneurs, it's the hope another people make the babies. Yes. No, they need to take back the babies. You cannot own the Jack Ma. You get out. One way, jail, another way, kill you. Everybody same the resource, no doubt. That is, a, that is a prediction that our audience is going to also have a very hard time with. Mm. Uh, but I think if you take the time to understand you, Miles Kwok, and also your, your insinuations, your allegations, it's all starting to prove to be true. So I think it, I think it, I think it takes someone, uh, people should be taking the time to understand what you're saying. Yeah. And we just saw two days ago that he had to write, uh, sign over these shareholdings. Um, and so this is a bold prediction that is uh, going to, uh, I think, be very controversial. Uh, from a very controversial person. Yeah. But I, uh, I thank you very much for taking the time for this interview, uh, Miles, and I look forward to uh, spending more time together and learning more about the Chinese financial system. Thank you, Sir Kyle. Thank, thank you. you. It's a pleasure. Do you believe me? I believe you. Take your money back, America. <laughs> Seriously, you invest in China and Hong Kong is to kill normally people. I don't have money don't in, do in this. China. Don't do this. Kill American also. Take Under your money back, trust me. Understood. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thanks, okay. Pleasure. Everybody figured that this was the end of the interview, but before he left, Miles wanted to return to the chair and make one more very important point. Okay, Miles, one thing that I wanted to make sure we cover today is something that's topical and newsworthy in literally this morning is the, the, the head of Interpol, uh, Meng Hongwei, has, has gone uh, missing. <laughs> and the official statement from Interpol says that they've, they've named someone else to be the head of Interpol in, in the interim and that they're going to make sure that the relevant authorities uh, handle Meng Hongwei's disappearance. Why do you think Meng Hongwei is missing in China? Uh, one year ago, also I told them, it's the, the guy, Meng Hongwei, must be go to two-way, jail and kill. Uh, one year ago, I, in the YouTube, you said that a year ago in yeah, YouTube. Yeah, yes, I see. You said he goes to jail or he gets killed. But yeah. there was a third. Actually, there was a third thing that could have happened to him. Yeah. If he, what if he brought you back to China? <laughs> yeah, yes. Then, also, then he'd be good. Yeah, oh, yeah. Also, the reason yesterday, all the people told me, told me as a mouse, why is the right, you know, arrest the guy? One reason is because you don't send you back. Because they didn't, he didn't get yeah, you. They didn't, you know, send me back. Right. Secondly, him drawing. Kill HNA Wang Jian, the chairman. So you wait a second. Yeah. What are you saying exactly? Yeah, sir. Is the because second reason they together join with Wang Qishan. This with help Wang Qishan kill HNA Wang Jian in the Provence. In Provence. So you're yeah. saying you're saying that the head of Interpol might have had something to do with the death of the chairman of HNA in yes, Provence. Yes, for sure. Then, sir, I want you to look for this is the French, called, what is the Nei Zheng Bu Zhang, how to see? A Minister of Internal Affairs. Okay. They ought to resent. Why? The Wang Jian dies for the one, they murder him. I'm the first one, only one. A lot talk, no, the guy not to take a sovereign die, it's the Wang Jishan kill him. Who help? Want everybody for the one, shut up, shut up. Give me any types, any videos, no camera, no picture, they disappear. They threaten everybody. You're Don't... saying that all the surveillance is gone? Yes, it's gone. We, I sent the three team, first time I go there, they threaten my team in the vacation. You, wait, you sent a team of, yeah. of your security personnel? Yeah, from New York NYPD. To Provence? Yeah, Provence. To try to find the videos? Yes. And there are no videos? Yeah, no videos. They, all the police take back. This threat and all the people don't talk. So you think Interpol has Interpol. gotten rid of the videos? Interpol and the 
French and police. Local police. Local police. Why they listen to Wang Qishan? Why you do murder is the Wang uh, Wang Jian? Why you want to disappear the evidence? Why you threaten the interpreter? Don't talk. Go back to China. They talk to the driver. Don't meet anybody. They talk to the Pulawans police. Don't see any New York NYPD people. Then this is the, immediately arrest my family. Go to jail. Directly call me in the jail. Miles, you cannot see more about the Pulawans and the Agent Eight Chairman Dai. Even talk more, they won't kill me. So they've told you that directly. Directly, many times, many times. So. I, you know, I have some of the re records. One day I can put out. They threaten me. They fear me. Why? I want to press, make a press conference in the next month. You're going to do a press conference yeah. next so month? Yes. So they threaten me. Don't do this. They know. It's a Meng Hongwei. It's a big, important guy. Even I do the press conference, I put the guy evidence. Him maybe don't go back to China. Go come to America. I see. They want the political silence. This is ridiculous. See, China. But he went back to China and now he's missing. Yeah, they, they know this. They know this. I, you know, Meng Hongwei is my friend. Okay, Meng Hongwei is your friend. All the friends, all the friends. We are many okay. times together. You know, we we are talking. Yeah. Okay. So, Wang Qishan is smart. See, when when they the guy, is go to America, cooperate with America, CIA, big trouble for CCP. So mm. he said, call back. I have a big meeting. Rest. I see. So this two so reasons. So is he gone for for good? All the family, his whole family, all the family is arrested. Secretary arrested, and for good. Yes, <laughs> this is the one years ago. I see the guy only two way. Wow, wow. So wow. this is a big, big, these big are, story. Sir. These are these are hard, so hard to believe. Yeah. Uh, from my perspective, that uh, that these things happen in broad daylight, and no one in the press uh, understands this narrative, right? But no, also, no you really need to trust, sir. Chinese, have, I'm the Buddhist. You try reincarnation. Reincarnation and karma. He means yeah. kill many normally people. They, they arrest too many people. They make an interpret too many good people, including me. Yeah. So this is the reincarnation. Also, the CCP, they are the mafia group. No, no human rights. Right, right. No, you know, merchant. No. They are use you. You have a wealthy, I use you. Mm. Even you threaten me, kill, jail. No, this happened. Right. This is normally. Well, I hope you're wrong. I hope you're wrong. Yeah about Meng Hongwei. I hope you're wrong about Jack Ma. I hope you're wrong about these things. Yeah. You've been so right in the past that uh, <laughs> I wouldn't bet against you. So thank you again, Miles. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kale. Pleasure. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.